This is a video about some of the last remaining bugs in the Supermodel emulator. It's not every bug, but it's some of the more notable ones. This first one's from The Lost World Jurassic Park from 1997. It's a case of the curious foot, and the emulator looks just a little bit different. <laughs> This is a freeze frame from the original hardware, and this is what it looks like in the emulator. When I first saw this scene I actually thought it was from a different part of the attract sequence, I didn't actually realise it was from the same part, but it is. For some reason the leg shows up in the, in the emulator, whereas in the original hardware it's just non-existent. These next images are from our internal debugging tool. We actually have the ability to pause the scene and inspect the individual elements that make up the model. Here you can see that there's one item for the water and seven for the actual model. That's the leg and foot. I did a binary diff of the actual culling nodes and the actual polygons themselves to try and find a difference. To try and work out why they wouldn't show up, but I can't find any difference. Maybe this bug will never be resolved. This next bug is from Dirt Devils from 1998. In the emulator on the medium course, there's something wrong with the sky. And this is what it looks like in the emulator. You can see that the sky is split into two. There's a top section and then like a lower section. The top section is actually drawn by a 2D chip called the tile gen, whereas the bottom part is drawn by the regular 3D hardware. For some reason, they just don't match up. There should be a smooth graduation of colors from top to bottom. This next one's not really a bug, more of an unemulated feature. The hardware actually supports four different levels of details for models. I will actually switch switch these models at runtime depending on the view distance. In this video you can see two versions of the fence model. The first one has 24 polygons and the last one has four polygons. The reason we never implemented this feature is they just couldn't figure out exactly what algorithm they used. We know that the uh, view distances are dependent on the field of view but I can't get the exact algorithm to work.